If you would like to get a free swim form analysis like this one, click on the link below to sign up. Thank you for sending me your swim video. What I did first is I counted the number of strokes you took per 25 and I added it to your time and that gives you what's called your swell score. The first 25 you did 30 strokes in 30 seconds. The second 25 you did 31 strokes in 33 seconds. Um, the third 25 you did 30 strokes 35 seconds. The fourth 25 31 and 34 and the fifth 25 you did 31 and 34. So generally speaking your swell score for the most part was about um, 65. We want to get that let's first get it under 60 let's get it closer to let's get it closer to 50 um, by taking less strokes. Um, less strokes as well as faster time but let's work on the less strokes first. Um, when I'm looking at your stroke and doing the analysis I'm looking at breathing body balance rotation I think your body balance and rotation is okay. I think you breathe too frequently and that's kind of th slowing your momentum down. Every time you take a breath to the right side, you're always looking right and you're not really paying attention to that left arm and it's not really pulling. What I like about that breathing position, um, being on your left hip, is you are leaving your left arm extended for balance when you take that right side breath. That actually looks pretty good but I'd like to see you not breathe quite so frequently, so it would be interesting to know if you have some breathing issues in the pool. Next, I'm looking at recovery, what's going on with your arms out of the water. I prefer a high elbow recovery, as well as rotation. When you're doing the recovery part of the stroke, your fingertips are below your wrist, below your elbow, and you're leading with your rotation. That looks pretty good for you. I just wanted to point that out. And then um, next, I'm looking at hand entry. You, ha you tend more with your left arm to kind of put your left arm and really flatten it out a little bit much. And then when you're breathing, you tend to kind of throw it to the side, or yeah, you throw your hand to the side a little bit, which makes me think you're probably breathing, or sorry, you're probably pulling a little wide. So if you can watch when you breathe, your hand goes out a little bit and then it comes in. Um, it's a I would like to see you have a little bit deeper angled hand entry instead of flat, a little bit angled like this, sorry, like this, instead of, instead of like this, be more like this, because then you set yourself up for a high elbow catch and then a push. Um, again, let's stick to that, that left arm. You look, and if I saw you coming into the wall and I saw you underwater, I think that left arm is very straight when you're pulling versus catching high elbow and then pushing past your hip. You want to drive your hip rotation with your underwater catch and pull. That's pretty important. Your right arm looks decent. You can actually see the difference. Your left arm is pretty flat. Your right arm is more like this. We want to get your left arm more to match up with your right arm. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some hand entry drills and then some underwater catch and pull drills. So recovery looks good, balance looks good. I'd like you to breathe less, maybe even throw a left side breath in there. I think that'll help with body balance rotation. Um, let's jump into hand entry. First two drills, um, fist drill, you're gonna swim with closed fist, punch the water, get your hand deeper. When you lose that surface area, it's going to help create that high elbow catch for you. Also head out of the water drill, get a little bit more short and choppy. Again, this is the drill. It's not exactly how you swim, but it's a focus on your hand entry. You know, as I'm looking at you even more, I can even see your left hands coming out like right by your hip. You want to push that left arm past your hip. So two drills to work on specific to the underwater pull is keeping your head down. You don't want to breathe that much. Do a catch up drill where you're catching up one hand is catching up to the other hand deep under the water. You don't want to catch up on the surface. That's what we're trying to avoid. We want to catch up where you're supposed to start the catch part of the stroke. I think that'll help you. Watch how my hand is pushing and driving my hip rotation past my hip. The other drill I'd have you do is head out um, underwater doggy paddle. Keep your head facing down. Keep your arms pushing underneath your body. Um, deep under the water. Watch your hands pull underneath your body. 
one thing that's going on is you're breathing so frequently. I don't think you're looking at your arms and what they're doing underwater. So just by breathing less frequently and putting, keeping your head down and watching your arms pull past your hip to extend behind you. You want to extend from behind, not extend out in front. So quick review, fist drill, head out of the water drill. That's going to help you create a a strong catch before your push and then the catch up drill is going to continue to work on the catch high elbow catch elbow above your wrist above your fingertips and then the underwater doggy paddle is going to help you get a more powerful push all the way past your hip to drive your hip rotation if you have any questions um, we'd like to hear you on voicemail you can go to speakpipe.com slash endurance hour or you can just um, shoot me an email if you have more questions about your swim analysis. Hope you make it a great day. Yeah.